Waiting for the holidays can be challenging. KCRG TV 9's Becky Phelps talked with one Cedar Rapids woman about how families impacted by dementia can support each other during the holiday season. I worked in um, leasing and um, here in town and I started to goof up stuff and I started to forget things and that was the um, kind of the clincher for me that there was something wrong with me. April Neuendorf got her diagnosis of mild cognitive impairment in July of 2021. I can't do um, a lot of things anymore. I can't do recipes. I can't follow a recipe. You'd think I could follow it because it's all written down. Nope. Um, I have problems with reading. She knows firsthand the holidays can add stress for families who have a member with dementia. I can cook most everything that I've always cooked, but if I want to do something new, I have a hard time with that. Like I said, the uh, recipes are hard to follow. The noise sometimes will annoy me a little bit. Not annoy, but it's just something I notice more than I used to. Lauren Livingston with Alzheimer's Association Iowa says traveling can be especially difficult for some, particularly in later stages. Just if they just get really agitated and stressed out with traveling, it might just be best to stay at home and have the gathering at your house if you're able to do that, or maybe do a video chat um, or have uh, your family send videos of the kids opening presents, thing like, things like that. Neuendorf says if you have a family member with dementia, the most important thing is to keep talking to them. We're still here and we want to be talked to and we want to be valued and we've still got stories to share. In Cedar Rapids, Becky Phelps, KCRG TV9 News. No.